Hello there guys, so it is new Dragon of the Month time and for March 2019 we have the cute Ares Dragon. So he's a legendary water and wind dragon with a base health of 248 and a base attack of 74. He doesn't have great attack comparatively to some other dragons, but he synergizes well with other supportive dragons. So if you want to breed Mr. Ares, you need to breed together two dragons that have the wind, earth, water and plant elements. There are hundreds of different combinations you could use, but today I have cut it down to the best four. So the best combination you can use as a more advanced player is the Wind plus Kitsune Dragon. Of course, you can also replace the Kitsune for any dragon that has the same elements, such as the Panda, Zhang, Celestial, Arboreal, etc. So this combination is really good because there are only up to seven other possible outcomes since you also have the chance of breeding the elixir if you have VIP level 8 or above. But apart from that, the other outcomes have breeding times of mostly six hours or below. If you have lots of dragon collector leaderboard points, this is the best combination for you. Moving on to the second best combination. This would be the Earth plus Elixir Dragons. Or you can replace the Elixir with the Springtime, Sprite, Nurture, or Go Green Dragon. So this combination also only has up to seven other possible outcomes, but two of the outcomes are from the Dragon Collector leaderboard. If you don't have many points on the leaderboard, then actually this is the best combination you can use. So deciding between the number one and number two breeding combination just comes down to how many leaderboard points you have, since without them, this combination only has five relatively low breeding time outcomes. But moving on to combination number three. For anyone that doesn't have many limited time dragons, then the plant plus clownfish combination is the next best option. So with this breed, there are eight other possible outcomes with three of them, again, being either related to VIP level or Dragon Collector leaderboard levels. If you don't have VIP eight or Dragon Collector points, then you are in for an easy breed. But even if all of these dragons are available for you to breed, this is still a very good breeding combination to use overall. But not everyone has even rare dragons to use in their breeding. So for the newer players, the fourth combination I would suggest for you to use would be the Ice plus Tree Dragons. These dragons are both commons and super easy to breed, but they do have up to 10 other possible outcomes. However, most of the breeding times are still below 8 hours, so if you don't have the first three combinations available, then use this one. Oh, and the breeding time for the legendary Ares is the same as all other legendary dragons, being two days normally, reduced to one day and 14 hours with VIP level two or above active. So don't worry, you'll know instantly whether you've managed to breed them or not. If you're wondering what levels your dragon should be to breed the Ares dragon, then as always, I recommend for you to level up your breeding dragons to level 15 minimum, if you can afford the food to do so. And no, enchantment stars make no difference when breeding the Ares dragon. But what's the best possible tip I could ever give for trying to breed legendary dragons of the month? Keep rebreeding. Rebreeding as often as you can is the best thing you can do to give yourself the best chance possible of breeding the Ares dragon. Legendaries also take many attempts on average to breed, so if it takes you 30 or even 40 breeding attempts, that's actually pretty normal. But anyways, that should be everything you need to know about breeding this dragon for now. However, if you do have any questions or need some help, then feel free to join our Discord server. You can chat in there for free and get advice from some really knowledgeable DML players. Anywho, thanks a ton for watching and good luck with the upcoming Divine event.